Hi, my name is Christian. I'm here at the beautiful Orlando Regional. I'm here with Ramtech, recent Orlando Regional champions. I'm here with Frank, Jake, and Adres, and they're here to talk about uh, their robot on first updates now. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so I'm gonna hand off the microphone to Frank and he'll talk about his programming. Hi, my name is Frank. Um, for our robot, we have a vast array of different camera systems and sensors that we use to effectively score and know our location on the field. So these cameras you see up here on these pillars, we have them equally on both sides. We have a total of seven April tag detecting cameras. One, two, three, same on the other side, and one on the front of the shooter. All these do, they're running photon vision and they're how we get the robot's position on the field. Additionally, we're using the camera in the front to localize the April tag that's detected on the speaker and to angle our shooter for the speaker shots. Now, under the robot, it may not be very, very seeable, but we are running four Orange Pi co-processors right down here. You can see them. They're in a, in, a, in a mezzanine under the robot for protection. And the reason we have four is because we are running on two of them, all of our vision systems with all our cameras. But additionally, here, if you look at the front of the robot, we have two different cameras, an ArduCam and an OPD Pro that we're running on the other two Orange Pies. These cameras, what they take care of is all of our different AIs. The OPD Pro on the bottom is running our robot bumper AI detection. It detects different colored bumpers in addition with um, different colored amp, the actual shape of the thing, uh, speaker and stages. And then on this camera, the Ardu cam, we're detecting, we have our no, a our no AI running, which we're able to detect nodes from about, I'd say 30 feet away. And it, it, relies, it, it allows us to be able to rotate towards it and go pick it up with autonomous commands. Let's, let's go over some of the path planning that we have. So for our programs, we're using strictly path planner to create all of our paths. In addition to Pathfinder, some of the trajectories that we generate are coming from Photon Vision, and we're just creating on-the-fly paths for if, it, if the Note AI recognizes the Note on the field. It adapts and it goes and it scores the Note if it sees it. Here, we, all you're seeing here is just our custom trajectory shower on the shuffleboard or on glass, so that whenever we're on the field, we know exactly what auto, what auto is running. It mirrors to both sides instead of having Pathfinder do it automatically, just gives us confirmation on what auto autonomous running in the match and allows us to be sure and effective. Now I'll hand it off to Jake for mechanical. Hello everybody, yeah, I'm Jake. I do a lot of the mechanical here on our uh, robot in Ramtech. Not only do we have orange pies here on the robot, but if we come down once again, we actually have a big max planetary gearbox running our entire climb. Um, if we come back up, we can see how the climb is actually ran. It's just a spring that brings the whole thing up. And then we have a string right down in there that's bringing the climb down. Uh, if I believe off the top of my head, it's running at about 125 to one on either side. Um, so it's a pretty beefy gearbox. Uh, from there, if we come over here to the intake, we'll notice that it's also under the bumper. A big trend of this robot is that everything is pretty much under the bumper, seeing as, you know, we thought that this game was going to end up being very aggressive, especially with that midline note kind of lineup. Um, we figured that the best case scenario for us would be throwing everything within the bumpers, keep all of our components safe. Um, that way we don't need to really worry about any major breaks or anything like that. From there, you'll notice that our intake actually pivots or sorry, our shooter pivots on the same shaft as our intake, or as the conveyor, sorry. So if we lift this up, Frank, if you would uh, hold that right there. Oh, well, it's actually enabled right now. But if we bring this up, you'll notice that whenever the conveyor runs, it's also running on the same shaft as where we pivot. The reason behind that is we wanted to be able to intake from any position or any angle that we put the robot at. We found that to be very important seeing as, you know, our drivers tend to be more on the aggressive side. That way they'll have creative freedom of their shots and kind of shot, shot placement, if you will. Um, and we've actually had a lot of success for that. Um, from there, um, I'm actually going to hand it off over to Andres so he can go over the rest of the mechanical. Hi, I'm Andres, I'm the mechanical lead, and so for starters, our robot uses 
uh, Swerve Drive Specialties Mark IV Swerves. Uh, we're running it on, a, on the L4 configuration with the uh, Kraken as the drive motor and the Neo as the uh, steering motor. So after the intake, we got this huge conveyor that goes up to the shooter and the conveyor pulls the note in at any angle. So it could, it could be at this 90 degree angle or this uh, 45 degree angle. And it pulls it into the, um, the shooter uh, to shoot from uh, the podium or the subwoofer or maybe even mid-wing in the future. And in the conveyor, we also have the, uh, the amp scoring path. The way we actuate this is by using one of the RevMax servos over here. We, it, we call it the diverter system. It, it pushes this roller into the path, blocking the path so that the uh, note folds into the uh, amp. And it's run by the shooter wheels, so that's another cool thing. Uh, this trap mechanism right here uh, is actually one of the newer features of our robot. Because we have so much space on the conveyor and the shooter, we were able to mount using mount it using four bolts and churros. Um, we're using, the way this works is it uses the same uh, motor mount on the opposite side to extend and retract the trap mechanism. So it extends when we go for the climb and then it retracts for just whatever we're doing before that. And we use these rollers powered by a mini Neo uh, that intakes the note. Whenever we intake the note, we're at this angle at the source. We extend this a little. It intakes the note, it holds it. Uh, we go back down, uh, the, the angle goes back down. And for scoring, these little hooks up here push the trap door open and it just ex it extends, pushes the trap door open and the note is easily able to go up and into the trap. So here we have the intake going out in really quick. Here we have the pivot angles for shooting and amp. So that's our shot for the podium. We're gonna intake it again. Nice to under. We're gonna do the subwoofer shot. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do the amp. This is the amp. There we go. So now to show the trap, this is our starting uh, when we pick up from the source. So intakes, oh, there we go. So the climb hooks go up. We're at a 90 degree angle. It pivots down like that. It pushes the trap door open and then it just tosses it in. So that's basically how we're able to score the trap and our shooting mechanism and all that. That's amazing, guys. And that trap mechanism that you guys put together very last minute was incredible and was a huge deciding factor in y'all's in y'all's event. Well, I do have one more question. Who's on deck? Ramtech! Who's on deck? Ramtech! This is Christian Olson from the Orlando Regional signing off. Support Funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.